Hey guys, today we're going to be playing some hardcore Minecraft. This will be different from my other season for the sole fact that I am alone. No Jake. So before I talk your ears off, let's just get right into the gameplay. It's going to be difficult to maintain a good rhythm of conversation without someone to bounce off of and crack jokes or conversations with, but I'm determined to do my best. Alright, I'm going to destroy the deafening silence by telling you some stories from my life. Let me think of a good one. Right. The other day I was walking down to the store to get my new business cards. And along the way I saw this old homeless man raving about the coming of God. The rapture in specific, if I remember correctly. I found his chanting to be interesting, and so I stopped to humor him for a while. His clothes smelled like shit, and the teeth that hadn't yet fallen out were yellow and gnarly. They looked more like protruding rectangular pillars of piss, or maybe puss, than the clean, white, ivory towers that adorned my mouth. Merely being in his presence for the few seconds that I had made me feel like I had contracted one or another horrific disease. The pure air that he breathed in was exhaled as toxic fumes. By that point, the interesting ramblings that had stopped me in the first place faded away, replaced with the overwhelming disgustingness that the man was practically made out of. I took a second to back away, and attempted to walk away from the stench. But the man attempted to follow me. When I turned around, all I saw was this giant rat. There was no other way to describe the sight, really. And when I saw this repugnant rat, I felt the urge to cleanse it from my existence, just like I had with the countless others. I grabbed the giant rat by the top of the fur on its head with my left hand, and pierced both of its eyes with my right hand. It didn't put much of a fight, and as I forced my right hand into the back of its head, its body felt limp. At the time, I was glad that I had made a habit of wearing gloves whenever I ventured out into the world, because my hands, once again, were saved from the vile fluids that poured from the rat's face. I dragged the rat's body out of view of the street and into the alleyway, hoping to spare any passerbys the horror of its appearance. After that, I continued to walk to the store, and when I arrived, I was pleased to hear a familiar tune playing. You like Huey Lewis in the news? Their early work was a little too new wave for my taste, but when sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own. Commercially and artistically, the whole album has a clear, crisp sound, and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that really gives the songs a big boost. He's been compared to Elvis Costello, but I think Huey is a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. In 87, Huey released this four, their most accomplished album. I think their undisputed masterpiece is Hip to be Square, a song so catchy most people probably don't even listen to the music or the lyrics, but they should, because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of trends, it's also a personal statement about the band's sell. Anyways, that's it for today, I'll be streaming my dinner